I got so many things in that game, but um, you know, what, what are some of the biggest things that stand out, particularly maybe about those last four minutes when you guys had the poise to get it done? You know, I thought um, you know, Paul Millsap saved the day for us. You know, we missed a, a second free throw. Paul comes out of nowhere, gets a loose ball. Uh, he blocks a shot. He takes a charge. I just thought all of his hustle plays um, down the stretch were tremendous for us. Um, obviously, late game, getting Gary back in the game to close, uh, and him, Jamal, and Nicola playing kind of a three-man game, and, uh, and Nicola stepping up and making free throws was big. But, you know, I think they went on a 24-6 to run, I believe. Uh, had all the momentum. Uh, they got an offense rebound, Noel. They get a free throw box out rebound. They hit a three. They had all the momentum. But I give our guys credit because we had enough poise to stop the run, execute down the stretch, and get enough stops to get the win. As we all know, that's a very good basketball team. Uh, to have beaten them three times this year says a lot about our team. Uh, and I don't even think we played our best basketball yet. So um, Jamal was great. Nicole was great. Um, it was just a hell of a team win for us against a quality opponent. You guys, go ahead. You, you guys forced those two turnovers against Westbrook. One, Joe, Joker had one, and then I think Jamal forced Jamal the second one. Yeah. What does that say about just the defensive resolve? You said before the game it starts with the defense. Yeah, I think it, it speaks to our guys buying in and understanding, you know, when teams are making a comeback, you know, the, the way to stop their run is to make sure you defend, you rebound, and you execute. And I thought we did that down the stretch. We were able to get timely stops, forced turnovers. Um, I think Will Barton ha had a great game for us tonight, had it going offensively, but let's make sure we give Will a lot of credit. Paul George is an MVP candidate. And I thought, uh, obviously, Will Barton did a phenomenal job of taking the challenge of guarding Paul tonight and did a hell of a job. And after the last game against the Clippers, I'm driving home, I get a text from Will, and he's not worried about his offense shots. He says, I want to guard Paul George. I want that challenge. And he went out there and did a good job. And obviously, he had help behind him, but it was great to see Will Barton have that game tonight offensively and have a huge impact on our defense as well. To, have, talk that, about to have that five, um, I think, first time since the end of October, or since opening night in October, that you had your kind of original starting five closing a game. What, what you know, the look there, and, and what does it say, I guess, maybe about how much those guys have been in these, some of these moments to, to finish it with? Yeah, and I want to make sure that, that there's no slight on Malik Beasley. You know what I mean? Because uh, Malik has been phenomenal for us. So, so it's nothing against Malik, you know, but Gary's a vet. He's been there. He's done that. He's been in big games. Um, and defensively and offensively, he's just a very solid player. So to be able to close with Jamal, Gary, Will, Paul, Nicola, the lineup that we started the, uh, the season with and only lasted for a game and a half is very comforting. It, it, I have a lot of confidence in that lineup. And um, Malik's done, he's closed games as well for us. But tonight, we kept Gary's minutes slow. We were able to get him back to close the game. And, you know, he made big plays like everybody else did down the stretch. When Paul Millsap has those hustle plays like that, how much does it do for the rest of the roster to be able to get back into the game and get that confidence back? Yeah, well, I think, you know, he's our leader. You know, there was one time in the middle of that run, free throw, he grabbed all the guys together on the foul line, talking to them, huddling them up, telling them to calm down and make sure we understand what we have to do to get out of this, uh, the run that they're on. But when you see the, you know, one of your oldest players on your roster outworking everybody on the floor, that can only inspire you. It inspires me on the sideline. I see Paul Millsap flying, and he's done that last three games. I mean, this is, you know, Paul Millsap understands what time of year it is. He knows what time it is because he's been there and done that. And I think our players are going to start understanding that as well. Uh, but just by following his example. You touched You've been on Will's defense. What do you think about his offense? It seemed like he was really yes. in a good rhythm for you know, maybe the first extended stretch since he's uh, been back from injury. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. You know, I told him, you know, well, the other day, I have to help you more to make sure I'm getting the ball in your hands. Not to score, getting the ball in his hands so he can make plays. And that's what Will Barton does. He can make plays for himself and for his teammates. And tonight, obviously, he went out there and did that 23 points five assists, only one turnover, uh, which is a phenomenal number. Jamal Murray, five assists, one turnover against that defense is great. So, um, but I was happy for Will because tonight was one of those games where he kind of got that rhythm back. He looked like the old Will Barton and um, it's great to see. Nicola got to the free throw line 13 times. Just what do you think he's able to do in a, in a physical game? Yeah, well, obviously uh, we got into the bonus early in that fourth and uh, you guys have to understand something. After every game, I get a text from my father. And almost every text I get from my father says, post up Nicola, get into the bonus early, <laughs> and get to the foul line. 
And, uh, and down, obviously we were able to do that. We got into the bonus early. So hopefully when I get a text from my father tonight, he'll say, hey, I finally listened to him. <laughs> but you know, Nicola, he's gonna get the respect from the officials. He knows how to play against physical defenders. And down the stretch when they were fouling on purpose, he stepped up and made big free throws. So uh, once again, that's a really, really ba uh, quality basketball team over there. And uh, couldn't be proud of our guys to come home. And another great atmosphere, another great turn up by our fans. and. A hell of a win for us. To the lineup with awesome. Monte Morris and Gary Harris, Isaiah Thomas, that small lineup, you've been experimenting a little bit. What are you seeing the results from that? Uh, I didn't think it was very good tonight, you know, uh, but it's only uh, four games. So, you know, obviously uh, it's still a work in progress. You have a guy that's missed 11 months of basketball, so there's going to be ups and downs in Isaiah. Uh, Monte Morris was not feeling well tonight, so he's a little bit under the weather. Uh, so overall, I think it's been solid for us. Uh, tonight, I didn't think it was great. I think we turned it over way too much with that group. But, you know, I have no doubt that moving forward, those guys will be able to find a way uh, to play well and play with a, uh, a rhythm and a confidence. To, to piggyback on your father's text, um, how much do you think that uh, Jokic has improved as a a post score this year. I mean, there's a lot of talk. Just overall, he's continuing to get better, and more comfortable. But it seems like in the post, he's, you know, whether it's a bigger bag of moves, stronger. I mean, what are you seeing there? Oh, I'm just seeing a guy that um, knows that I trust him 1,000 percent. And when the game's on the line, we're going to one guy. We're going to Nikola Jokic, and uh, he's been able to score in the post against single coverage, against double teams. And we've won in so many close games. I think we have more close wins than anybody else in the NBA. And a lot of those you can attribute to Nicola being effective and efficient in the post to score, make the right play, or go to the foul line and make his free throws. But he's stronger, he's more physical, and he's embracing the role as a closer on our team. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.